Hi, I'm Mitch Gallagher from Sweetwater, coming to you from the Los Angeles Convention Center. It is the 141st AES show here in LA. We're checking out all the new products, and we are joined by our good friend Craig Anderton. Great to see you. Hi, Mitch. How you doing? I'm doing very well. What do you think of the show so far? Actually, I think it's pretty cool. The um, you know I've been to 141 of them, so <laughs> I, <laughs> I have a good standard of comparison. Yeah, right. No, it seems it seems you know it's, it's another AES show. It's always good good to hang out, see the people, see what's new. Right. Definitely some trends going on. Right. Well, some things that are going on, you have a couple of very cool products here in the Gibson Pro Audio booth behind us. Yeah, we do. Funny you should mention that. The ones that, I'll tell you, the ones that I'm really into are the uh, V-Series speakers. And the reason why is because they have DSP in them. But we've gotten past the point where DSP is used to tune out bad cabinets and things like that, which some of the early earlier attempts were. And the main thing about these is the DSP, to my ears, the biggest difference is that the crossovers are handled really perfectly. You don't get the smearing you get with analog crossovers. So you have this really good mid-range definition. So I've been, you know, you know me, I like to take things apart, right? Like, why does it do this? So when I first heard them, I'm like, hmm, this is kind of defined, you know, what's going on. And I, I really think that has a lot to do with it. Uh, that and also, uh, it's Class D amplification. This is the first time they've gone from AB to, to Class D, and it's really done right. So, well, you know how digital is. If you do it right, it can sound like really clean. And of course, you the other advantage, of course, with DSP is you can put in the controls to make sure you don't blow things up and you know over prevent overheating and those kind of things. So there's those sort of cool elements as well. But yeah, I really like the V-Series a lot. Right. The other thing that caught my eye in the booth is the new headphone amplifier back in the corner with oh, a yeah. tube in it. Tell us about that. Yeah, that's a, that's one of the products from Neat. You know, they, they did the, the B mics and, and all that, the widgets. And it's a real, it's a real headphone amp with a real tube in it. And the tube is not there for decoration. You know, I mean, it's, that's in the audio path. <laughs> right. And uh, I think that, you know, with the interest in vinyl and the fact that so many people are listening on headphones, I mean, I can really see that there's going to be a lot of interest in it. And it looks cool and, and all that. So I think it's kind of right place, right time kind of thing. And you saw the latest version of Sonar back there too, right? So, I mean, there's, there's a lot of stuff going on. Right. It's a great show. Lots of new products everywhere. Yeah, and of course the other thing, you know, AES is about the workshops and the demos. And, you know, Project Studio Expo is here again, mm -hmm. which I think it was a great move. Uh, why was that? Like four years ago, it started something like that. Right. Uh, I'm going to be doing a, a workshop tomorrow and another one on Saturday, and I always love doing them because the crowds are, are totally into it. They re they want to learn things. They are they're interactive. They don't just sit back and go, oh, teach me stuff. You know, I mean, they really they're excited about doing audio. They're excited about doing recording. So if you can show them things, and, and also I learn a lot because they ask questions. You know, it's like, oh, that would make a good article. You know, that kind of, you know, you know that one. I know that one too, yeah. So anyway, so I, I think some of the papers, I've heard some of the papers are really something this year. I, I won't be able to check out too many of them. There's also a MIDI panel discussion on Sunday, uh, and it's about how important is it to know MIDI if you're going to get a job in this industry? I mean, do you really need to know MIDI? And it's a very interesting group of people and you know MIDI is going to be in like 2.6 billion devices by the end of the year because it's part of Google now and, and all that. It's being incorporated in phones. So what this means in terms of instructional, educational opportunities, lessons through MIDI, uh, I think there's going to be a lot more interest in, in that as well. So that's yet another element that's coming into this whole AS thing. So we've got like... I mean, here's, here's sort of the poster boy for the maturation of digital electronics, you know, with, with the V-Series stuff. We've got all these papers coming out. We have, um, you know, the ability to do things with DAWs that are just amazing these days with your DAW, with your DAW of choice, you know. And uh, it's getting to the point where anybody can make really good sounding music. And so now the burden is not on trying to make it through the bad equipment to get your point across. It's having a point in the first place that you want to get across. Right. So. right. It really makes the process transparent. You can really think about the music and not be worried about the technology. Yeah, even to the point where nowadays uh, you can take those scratch tracks and make them work without compromise. I mean, you, you mentioned the other day, you know, putting down a part and you were able to, uh, there was like blowback from the Leslie speaker, right? And you're able to fix that with Isotope RX. So you didn't have to say, oh, I, I either have to live with it or I have to recut it. And then when you recut it, of course, you've, you've lost the vibe and all that. So being able to do that or being able to take like, um, being able to take a, a play, play something on a guitar bring it in Melodyne, bring it into a track, turn it into MIDI data, now you can double it with a synthesizer. I mean, all those kinds of things 
are, are just fantastic after the fact post-production type of, type of things. Now, the people who use it to postpone decisions, I'm not sure that's such a good idea. <laughs> but if, if you can realize what you want to do easily and quickly so that the inspiration doesn't get lost, which is you know what those seminars at Sweetwater that I, that I gave were all about. If you can do that with technology now, great. Right. Right. It really makes music, it's really an amazing time to be a music maker, to have that kind of power at our disposal. Well, you know, and, and one other thing, I, I don't want to go too long here, but I'm seeing that this, these advances in technology are spreading through every aspect of this industry. Whether you're talking about the hardware that's used in guitars, you know, like on, like, obviously I'm into that because I've been checking out the new Les Pauls, you know, the titanium hardware makes a difference. The elements that are used in headphones are getting better. The elements used in speakers are getting lighter and stronger. They can push more air more easily. You know, all these things are adding up. The material, well, you mentioned the micromonitors, the IK micromonitors. Something like that would have been unthinkable 10 years ago, you know, but because of the electronics, because of the digital, the better knowledge of materials, you know, all the way that Neat tunes their microphones, they tune their capsules. You know, you, again, something that, you know, all these kind of changes, they, you know, a lot of times people come to shows like this and they go, oh, well, there's nothing really new. If only they would unscrew things and look inside, they would go, wow, there's a lot of new stuff. Right, right. Awesome, Craig. Thanks for that perspective on what's going on here at AES. It's an incredible show. We're having a great time. And it's good to see you, my friend. Always good to see you. Right. And thank you for joining me here at the 141st AES show in Los Angeles. I'm Mitch Gallagher from Sweetwater. Be sure to check out all our videos at YouTube, Facebook, and InSync, and tune in for our comprehensive trade show report at Sweetwater.com.